Enmesh. To become entangled or involved. Dolphins became enmeshed in the tuna nets and died. Folly. 1. A silly mistake. 2. Something foolish or unwise. It would be folly to insult a police officer who is writing you a speeding ticket. Flaccid. Limp. Soft. The deflated balloon sat in a flaccid lump on the floor. Disparage. To insult or belittle. The article disparaged the man by calling him a coward and a thief. Bemuse. To confuse or bewilder. I was bemused by the math problem and had to ask for help. Disavow. To deny knowledge of, to reject. The mailman disavowed having seen the missing package. Perpetuate. To cause to continue. The error was perpetuated because every new employee was trained using the old, incorrect method. Cantankerous. Grouchy, irritable. The cantankerous old man scolded the clerk for using plastic instead of paper. Zealous. Passionate about a cause, purpose, idea, etc. He is a zealous believer in herbal cures, so he's always trying to convince other people to eat ginseng and spirulina. Baneful. Harmful or deadly. The bleach had a baneful effect on the ants in the kitchen, so we don't need an exterminator. Allude. To refer to something indirectly, not explicitly. When I say students cheat, I'm not alluding to any of you. Abridge. To shorten or condense. I got the abridged version because I don't have time to read the whole book. Rhetoric. 1. The use of language to persuade. 2. Inflated or false language. The politician's peaceful rhetoric contradicts her ruthless tactics. Vignette. Brief story or sketch. The cartoon was a vignette about a lost dog. It was only a minute long. Juxtapose. To put side by side in order to compare. The documentary juxtaposes images of protesters and American casualties to make its argument. Galvanize. To stimulate or excite into doing something. Galvanized by her teammates' shouts of encouragement, the player took control of the match with a series of inspired plays. Nimble. Fast and agile in motion and thought. The linebacker, surprisingly nimble for a man so big, slipped through the defense and tackled the quarterback. Bellow. To yell or shout. The man stuck in the hole bellowed for help. Abstract. 1. Theoretical, not concrete. 2. Difficult to comprehend. No matter how good your training is, your understanding of war will be abstract unless you've actually been there. Aesthetic. Related to art or beauty. The bookshelf was nice, but we replaced it for aesthetic reasons since it didn't match the color of the room. Haughty. Arrogant, stuck up. With a haughty expression on her face, the princess turned up her nose to the peasant's crude meal. I'd rather starve than eat that, she declared. Genial. Kind or pleasant. I have a genial relationship with my stepmom. We even go shopping together sometimes. Inertia. 1. A state of rest or inactivity. 2. The tendency of a body to remain moving unless stopped. Sheer inertia was the only thing that kept me moving at the end of my 14-hour shifts at the hospital. Caliber 1. Skill level, class, quality. 2. The size of a gun's barrel. He is not the same caliber musician she is. Unfeigned Real, genuine, not faked. Since she already knew about the surprise party, it was hard to make her reaction seem unfeigned. Frugal. 1. Careful with money. 2. Meager, lacking. She is so frugal, she saves envelopes and reuses them. Transgression. 
An offense or crime, something violates a rule, law, etc. Since stealing gum was such a minor transgression, the cop let him go with a warning. Grudgingly. Unwilling, reluctant. After being beaten badly, he had to grudgingly acknowledge his opponent's skill. Cadence. A rhythm or beat. The drummers played a cadence to set up the tempo for the band to march to. Extenuate. To make less severe, excuse. The student's lateness is extenuated by the terrible traffic, so she won't get a detention this time. Volatile. 1. Capable of becoming violent or exploding. 2. Changing, inconsistent. The alcohol and testosterone found at most professional sporting events make a volatile mix. Quell. 1. To put an end to, to suppress. 2. To calm or pacify. The residents' anger over the construction noise was quelled by the rent reductions they received. Forgo. To give up or turn down. I am going to forego eating dinner so that I can save room for dessert. Elicit. To bring forth, draw out, evoke. I tried to elicit the name of the man, but the secretary refused to tell me it. Lucid. 1. Clear, easy to comprehend. 2. Transparent. 3. Sane, capable of thinking clearly. Despite the illness and the strong medications he was on, he was quite lucid, capable of carrying on wide-ranging and lively discussions. Aversion. An intense dislike or disgust. I've had an aversion to seafood ever since I got food poisoning from a bad oyster. Nomenclature. A system of terms or names used in a particular field. The hardest part about biology class is learning the nomenclature for the different types of life forms. Aristocratic. Related to or resembling an aristocrat. Wealthy, cultured, or privileged. He comes from an aristocratic family, so he's used to lavish dinner parties and tuxedos. Rant. To give an angry or complaining speech. The man on the sidewalk ranted about how the government was recording his thoughts. Entwine. To twist together, interweave. Our fishing lines were hopelessly entwined, so we had no choice but to cut them. Rollick. To play, to act in a carefree, energetic manner. The dogs rollicked together in the park, happy to be free of their leashes. Tangential. Not directly or clearly related to the main topic. Digressive. His presentation had only a tangential connection to the guidelines for the assignment, so he received an F. Oasis. A place that provides relief or comfort. Recess was an oasis in an otherwise bleak and boring school day. Catalyst. Something which causes something else to happen. The horrific four-car collision was the catalyst for putting in a traffic light at that intersection. Pretentious. Arrogantly claiming or displaying importance, intelligence, etc. After he came back from Harvard, he was so pretentious that he tried to tell my mother, a professional gardener, how to properly care for the yard. Noxious. Harmful, poisonous, or extremely unpleasant. The broken sewer line gave off a noxious smell. Suture. Something used to close a wound. It took 20 sutures to close the gaping cut on his arm. Candid. Honest, without concealment, sincere. Though he has a reputation for being very private, he made some candid confessions during the interview. Obtrusive. 1. Attracting unwanted attention. 2. To protrude outward. 3. Aggressive. My broken headlight is so obtrusive that it always gets me pulled over. Opiate. A type of drug that causes calm or sleep. Morphine is one of the most powerful opiates still used in medical practice. Fallible. Capable of failing or making mistakes. 
I tried to get all the questions right, but I am fallible like everyone else, so I may have missed one or two. Lackadaisical. Unenergetic, uninspired, listless. Even though they are more talented than their opponents, the team lost because of the lackadaisical effort. Mulish. 1. Resembling or pertaining to a mule. 2. Stubborn. I refuse to give up because I have a mulish belief that we can win. Omniscient. All-knowing, having infinite knowledge. The new camera system in the store makes our security guards practically omniscient. Nothing happens without them being able to see it. Egalitarian. Related to or characterized by a belief in equality. America was founded on the ideal of creating an egalitarian society where everyone was treated equally. Cower. To huddle or crouch in fear. The boy cowered away from the monster, shaking and crying. Influx. A continuous coming in of things or people. Because of the recent influx of tourists to the beach next door, we had to put up a fence around our cottage. Equity. 1. Fairness, impartiality. 2. Net worth. In the interests of equity, we hold blind auditions so that the judges cannot see the musicians they are evaluating. Default. 1. A standard, reflex, automatic response. 2. Failure to fulfill an obligation. My default answer when reporters ask me about a case is no comment. Omit. To give off, to put out. The smoke alarm emitted a piercing shriek because the toast was on fire in the toaster. Animation. Liveliness, life, or energy. They wanted to get more animation out of the candidate who looked stiff and uncomfortable on TV. Clout. Power or influence. The politician used his clout to get the charges against his daughter dropped. Minion. A servile follower of someone. The vampire ordered his minions to attack. Somatic. Of or pertaining to the body. The drug's somatic side effects include shivering and sweating. Dilate. To make wider or expand. Her pupils dilated as they adjusted to the dim light in the room. Plod. 1. To walk or tread with heavy steps. 2. To toil at a monotonous task. The film plods along to the inevitable conclusion where the real criminal is brought to justice. Attrition. 1. Gradual decrease of people, energy, supplies, etc. 2. Erosion. We lost a lot of volunteers through attrition last year, people graduating or becoming involved in other activities. Cleft. A split or crack in something. We sheltered ourselves from the rain by hiding in a cleft in the rocks. Elastic. 1. Capable of expanding or contracting. Flexible. 2. Resilient. The application requirements are elastic so that the department can make them more difficult for people they don't want to accept. Elicit. Banned, not permitted. Under the new school policy, even aspirin is considered an illicit substance. Evoke. To bring to mind, suggest, bring out. The weatherman's dire warning evoked images of terrible mudslides and floods in the viewer's heads. Inebriated. Drunk or similarly impaired. After four hours in the bar, the inebriated man stumbled out and weaved down the sidewalk, trying to find his way home. Earnest. Sincere, honest, serious. The peace activist's speech was so earnest that you could feel his passion. Accost. To bother or confront aggressively. I was accosted on the street by some panhandlers begging for change. Ruffian. A rough or dangerous looking person. A thug. With his tattoos, leather jacket, and fearsome muscles, he looked like a real ruffian. Mortify. 
to embarrass or humiliate. I was mortified by my parents' dirty dancing. Audacious. 1. Bold or daring. 2. Impudent, ignoring social conventions. The jailbreak was an audacious feat in which the prisoners slipped drugs into the guards' food and scaled the walls using bedsheets. Prejudiced. Having an unfounded bias against something or someone. The lawyer tried to have the trial moved, arguing that a local jury would be too prejudiced against the defendant. Dormant. Inactive, at rest. Seeds that have been lying dormant all winter are brought to life by the spring rain and sun. Sublime. 1. So beautiful or great as to inspire awe or reverence. 2. Noble, lofty, supreme. The view from the top of the mountain down onto the ocean sunset was sublime. Avid. Passionate, characterized by enthusiasm or eagerness. He's an avid golfer, so it's always easy to find him a birthday present. Figurehead. A position that has no real power or authority. The King of England is really just a figurehead, since he doesn't participate in the government. Monolithic. Total, enormous, unyielding. Microsoft's monolithic dominance over the personal computing market has been challenged recently by Apple computers. Ire. Anger, disapproval. Many radio disc jockeys have drawn the ire of the FCC and Christian groups for their offensive senses of humor. Sadistic. Interested in or taking pleasure from other people's pain. My dentist seems downright sadistic. She never uses anesthesia, even for root canals. Lax. Not strict or rigorous. Loose, permissive. The school's dress code was lax, so it was a shock when anyone got a detention because of their clothes. Wrath. Extreme anger, retribution. Leaving your toys all over the floor is a sure way to incur your father's wrath. Perfunctory. Done quickly or superficially, without thought or care. The night security guard gave a perfunctory look around the building before going back to sleep. Fraternal. Like or pertaining to a brother. Brotherly. Fraternal bonds are both loving and tension-filled, as most brothers fight constantly but are also quick to stick up for one another. Autonomy. Independence. Self-control. Most teenagers want their own cars because of the increased autonomy they provide. Denunciation. Strong public condemnation, rejection, or attack. The teacher's angry denunciation of the new principal spoiled her chances of getting promoted. Integral. Essential. Necessary. A strong work ethic is integral to success in any competitive graduate school. Stratagem. A plan or strategy. In chess, you must have a stratagem to win, otherwise you will surrender the initiative to your opponent. Polytheism. The Belief in Many Gods The Greeks' polytheism was expressed in their plays and poems, in which many different gods intervene in the lives of men. Whimsical Following or characterized by odd or random desires. Capricious My sister takes up hobbies whimsically. Last week she was into rock collecting. This week it is astrophysics. A month ago it was field hockey. Inundate to flood or overwhelm. The TV station was inundated with letters complaining about their coverage of the local election. Relish. To take great enjoyment of something. A player who prides herself on her defense will relish the chance to go against the other team's best offensive player. Epitome. Best example or representative. He is the epitome of style, always dressed in an immaculate suit and tie. Grapple. To wrestle or contend with, to struggle over. Ted grappled with his taxes late into the night, punching numbers into the calculator trying to make everything add up. Indict. To make a formal accusation or criminal charge. 
The businessman was indicted on charges of money laundering. Fissure. A narrow crack or crevice. The earthquake created a fissure that split my uncle's barbershop in two. Unfettered. Free, without restraint, uninhibited. The movie was an unfettered success, making nearly twice as much money as any other musical. Sediment. Loose particles of solid matter at the bottom of a liquid. You can see the sediment floating in the well water, but it's safe to drink. Adept. Skilled, proficient. Since she had gotten lots of practice selling Girl Scout cookies, she was an adept door-to-door -door salesperson. Oscillate. 1. To swing or vibrate steadily. 2. To vacillate between two different positions or actions. The doctor's prognosis oscillated between hopeful and glum, depending on how the treatment was going at the time. Belated. Late. I sent my grandma a belated birthday card because I didn't want her to think that I had forgotten entirely. Sequester. To isolate from outside contact or seclude. They had been sequestered for more than a month during the trial, so the jurors were feeling homesick. Poach. To hunt, fish, or trap illegally on someone else's land. Some hunters snuck past the wildlife preserve's guards and fences to poach. Infantile. Related to or resembling a baby or child. Childish. Howard Stern has made millions of dollars with an infantile sense of humor and a big mouth. Contrite. Feeling regret or remorse over a past action. I was feeling contrite for having stuffed my little brother in the closet, so I bought him an ice cream cone. Vanquish. To defeat completely, to conquer. With all the evil supervillains vanquished from the earth, Superman flew around aimlessly, bored and unsure what to do with himself. Succinct. Concise, to the point, clear. He offered a succinct one-word answer to the reporter's question, no. Propagate. 1. To breed or reproduce. 2. To spread information, publicize. The tabloids are responsible for propagating the rumors that ruined his reputation. Concave. Curved inward. There is a huge concave where the asteroid struck. It looks like a big dent in the earth. Incisive. Insightful, keen, or perceptive. The therapist's incisive comments made the girl recognize that she had a drug problem. Brazen. Bold, audacious. It was a brazen bank heist. The robbers came in broad daylight, faces uncovered, and stole $20,000. Digress. To stray from the main topic. The lecturer digressed through a long story about his vacation before coming back to the point. Statute. A law. There are many outdated statutes still in the law books, like one that bans people from bringing pigs into the center of town. Embellish. To improve or enhance through decoration or details. Because Mario didn't have much experience with girls, he had to embellish his stories with things that he had seen in movies. Multifaceted. Having many facets or qualities. Complex. Jamie Foxx has proved himself to be a multifaceted performer, succeeding in comedy, drama, and in his music career. Deference. Respectful, showing polite regard for. The younger players treated the star with deference, opening doors for him and offering him the best seat on the bus. Cartel. An organization of businesses formed to maintain high prices and deter competition. The FBI is investigating whether oil companies have formed a cartel with the intent of cheating consumers. Envoy. An official messenger or representative. If you want to work as a diplomatic envoy, you need to get a degree in foreign relations. Desist. To stop or cease. I demanded that my neighbor desist from mowing his lawn at three in the morning. Rancid. Foul, rotten, especially odor or taste. 
The spoiled milk in the garbage can turned rancid, filling the apartment with a noxious stench. Conspicuous. Easily perceived. We put the Easter eggs in conspicuous places so that the kids would have an easy time finding them. Ingratiate. To try to win someone's favor or approval. The student tried to ingratiate himself by offering to do the professor's laundry. Bounty. 1. A reward or payment. 2. A generous offering. The bounty for capturing the escaped criminal is so high that everyone is out looking for him. Hedonism. The pursuit of maximum pleasure. The millionaire's parties, wild affairs where people eat and drink to excess, are crass displays of hedonism. Etch. 1. To carve or engrave a design into a surface. 2. To fix in someone's mind. High school sweethearts often etch their names into the sides of trees or into the surface of park tables. Listless. Without energy or interest. Lethargic. Without any scheduled activities, the kids lie around in the summer, bored and listless, watching TV and eating junk food. Trivia. 1. Obscure facts. 2. Unimportant matters. Contests that reward people for knowing obscure cultural trivia are really just a way of keeping you tied to the TV. Based. To soak something in a liquid as it cooks. The turkey has to baste in its own juices, otherwise it will become too tough. Waver. 1. To shake or quiver. 2. To hesitate or falter. His commitment to finishing the marathon never wavered, even when his legs started to cramp halfway through the race. Enigmatic. Mysterious. Puzzling. The author's reputation as being enigmatic was fueled by the fact that there were no pictures of him and no interviews. Derivative. Copied or imitated from an original source. Unoriginal. The artwork, though skilled, is so derivative of earlier artists that it almost looks like a forgery. Rabble. A noisy crowd of common people. Disdainfully regarding the angry crowd outside his window, the king ordered the guards to remove the rabble from his sight. Pacify. To make calm or peaceful, to appease. The hungry children were pacified with crackers until dinner was ready. Perjure. To lie while under oath. Politicians usually get into trouble not for what they did, but for lying about it afterwards, as when they perjure themselves during an investigation. Idiosyncrasy. A personal characteristic or habit. The poker player's idiosyncrasies, like his habit of scratching his face when he has a good hand, make him easy to beat. Palatial. Related to or resembling a palace. Large, luxurious. George Clooney has a palatial estate in Italy. It's so big it practically has its own area code. Permeate. 1. To spread throughout, to pervade or penetrate. The dangerous byproducts from the power plant have permeated the lake, causing all the fish to die. Embroil. To involve in a disagreement or controversy. The governor's office was embroiled in controversy after the corruption charges came to light. Alleviate. To make pain or suffering more bearable. The medicine is supposed to alleviate your headache. Epilogue. A section that comes at the end of a literary work. In the book's epilogue, the author reveals what happened to all the major characters after the story ended. Venerable. Respected, revered, honored because of age or position. The venerable judge, with his white hair, cane, and ever-present smile, was loved by everyone. Manifest. Clear, obvious. That they would end up divorced was manifest in the fact that they hadn't lived together or talked for years. Coerce. To force or compel through intimidation, threat, etc. The man's confession was thrown out because the police had coerced him into making it. Regale. To entertain. 
Always a good storyteller, the old man regaled his friends with tales about his exploits in the army. Aggregate A combination or sum of different elements which forms a whole. The new problem with the software is an aggregate of all the old ones, with a few new twists thrown in. Q A line of people. There was a long queue for the movie, forming at the box office and wrapping all the way around the block. Emulate To imitate or copy. Children learn many behaviors by emulating the actions of adults, so you must be sure to set a good example. Disclosure To reveal. Politicians must disclose their financial information every year to ensure that they are not receiving bribes. Elucidate to clarify or explain. The professor's explanation did nothing to elucidate the theory of general relativity. I don't even think Einstein himself could give a clear explanation. Plummet. To drop or lower suddenly. After the rock hit it, the bird plummeted from the sky and crashed to the ground. Languid. Listless, without energy or strength. Slow. I'd like to enjoy a languid afternoon in an intertube, floating down a river, just soaking up the sun and relaxing. Avarice Greed The prince's avarice was so legendary that his own mother wouldn't leave her purse where he could find it. Array 1. Impressive variety or display. 2. An order or arrangement. Most electronic stores have a dizzying array of gadgets and gizmos. Insolent. Rude or arrogant. His insolent answers to the sergeant's questions were the reason he was doing push-ups in the rain. Befuddle. To confuse. The computer's non-stop blinking messages and warnings befuddled the old man. Coy. Shy. Flirtatious. Timid. The girl, who was normally talkative with everyone who came into the store, became coy and quiet whenever the boy she liked came in. Puny. Small or weak. My chihuahua looks puny next to the other dogs at the park. Iota. Extremely small amount. There is not one iota of evidence to support the charge, not even so much as a single hair from the defendant at the crime scene. Omnipotent. All-powerful. My philosophical arguments for the existence of God are based on the idea that God is omnipotent, capable of doing anything. Strained. Tense, forced, or uncomfortable. Relationships among the co-workers were strained once everyone's salaries became public knowledge. Remediable. Capable of being fixed, corrected, or cured. We were lucky that the heart defect was remediable, otherwise our dog would have died. Antic. Playful, silly, or ridiculous behavior. The rodeo clown's antics distracted the bull long enough for the cowboy to escape the ring. Pristine. 1. Very clean. 2. Pure. I scrubbed the bathroom floor until it was pristine, cleaner than it had been when we moved in. Alcove. A nook or niche in a wall. The room's large alcoves held display shelves for art objects. Disciple. A follower or pupil of a leader, teacher, or cause. A typical plot for a martial arts movie involves a disciple who sets out to avenge the murder of his master. Exotic. Foreign, mysterious, or unusual. The Brazilian rainforest doesn't strike me as an exotic location, since I grew up there. Allegiance Loyalty to a ruler, person, cause, or group. Commitment He had sworn his allegiance to the cause of social justice in his youth. Compel 1. To force to do something. 2. To make necessary. I was compelled to clean my room by my mother's threats. Lewd. Offensive, sexual, vulgar. My mother won't let me watch MTV because she says it's too lewd. She says there's too many half-naked teens pretending to have sex. 
Oriya, a part of an opera sung as a solo. The opera closes with a beautiful aria that is sung by the dying queen. Debilitate. To make weak, cripple. The company was debilitated by the power outage, unable to get any of their orders processed. Pigment. Color or shade. Michael Jackson's skin pigment has been an object of great fascination for the tabloids. Lurk. To hide, to wait in a furtive and suspicious manner. The mugger lurked in the shadows of the alley, waiting for an easy victim. Mawkish. Excessively sentimental or emotional. When the adorable little girl died and the loving mother threw herself on the grave, I knew that the movie was going to be unbearably mawkish. Overt. Not hidden. Obvious. Alpha male apes don't often resort to overt displays of aggression to maintain their status. Usually, subtle displays of power are sufficient. Gist. The essential point, the main idea. To be a good critical reader, you need to get the gist of a passage rather than trying to remember every detail. Dirge. A slow, sad song. The funeral procession was accompanied by a lone accordion player who was bleeding a mournful dirge. Patronage. 1. The support given to a business by its customers. 2. The support given to charities or the arts by donors. 3. The use of a position of power to give gifts or jobs to preferred people. All of the congresswoman's relatives benefited from her patronage. Even the stupidest among them got an easy, high-paying job. Dregs. Something of little or no value. The remnants. We arrived so late that only the dregs of the party cookies were left. Nothing but black licorice Oreos and generic coconut mint drops. Telegenic. Naturally looking good on TV. It is said that John F. Kennedy defeated Nixon in their debates because he was more telegenic, and indeed Nixon looked pale and sweaty under the cameras. Unison. Something done together, simultaneously, or in agreement. The kids screamed happy birthday in unison, startling the teacher when she came into the room. Lavish. 1. Rich, luxurious, extravagant. 2. Generous, freely given. The millionaire's lavish bachelor pad featured a full-size movie screening room and a hot tub the size of a 7-Eleven. Subversive. Having or intended to have a negative, undermining effect. Early rock and roll was thought to have a subversive effect on kids, destroying their morals and intellect. Sham. A fake, a fraud, a deception. The evidence cited to prove the UFO landing turned out to be a sham. Just movie props that some farmer stuck out in his field. Protégé. A person who is supported and guided by someone successful. 50 Cent used to be a protege of Eminem, but now he is a star in his own right. Discernment. The ability to make insightful judgments or perceptions. Finding the best fruits at the farmer's market takes patience and careful discernment. Affix. To attach to or add on to. The clerk at the post office affixed a stamp to the package. Retard. To delay, impede, or slow down. The construction of the freeway was retarded by a strike among the workers. Aggrandize. To enhance the power, position, or reputation. The speech, filled with outlandish commendations of the CEO's intelligence and honesty, was meant to aggrandize him. Eek. To obtain a meager living through difficulty and hardship. The sharecroppers strained to eke a living out of the drought-stricken earth. Lofty. Elevated. Nearly unattainable. Noble. The writer set lofty goals for herself, including winning a Pulitzer Prize by the time she was 40. Interpose. To insert in between things. Intervene. Flashbacks detailing the singer's childhood were interposed between the movie's major scenes. Vigilant. Watchful, alert, especially of danger. 
Neighborhood watch groups are designed to help communities remain vigilant against criminals. Ostensibly. In appearance only, not real or true. Ostensibly, the cop was at the protest to protect the activists, but in reality, he was recording their speeches. Gall. Gumption, nerve, or impudence. My boss had the gall to suggest that I attend anger management classes when she's the one who loses her temper. Absolve. To free from guilt or blame. Even though he was absolved of any involvement in the crime, the trial ruined his reputation. Divulge. To reveal or disclose. Reporters rarely divulge their secret sources, even when ordered to in court. Supersede. To replace through progress or advancement. Windows 2000 has been superseded by Windows XP. Gaudy. Excessively showy, tasteless. The woman's gaudy fake pearl necklaces and gold birdcage earrings made her a frequent target for mockery. Lexicon. 1. A dictionary. 2. A vocabulary particular to a certain group or profession. Teenagers have a manner of speaking which parents are often unable to penetrate without the help of a special lexicon. Interiorize. To absorb psychologically. Psychologists often note divorce is danger to young children who are especially prone to interiorizing the parents' marital troubles. Matrix. 1. An environment where something develops. 2. A network or grid. New York, where figures like Africa Bombada and DJ Grandmaster Flash started their careers, was an important matrix of early hip-hop culture. Desecrate. To violate or disrespect something revered or sacred. The gravesite was desecrated by teenagers who toppled the gravestone and stomped on the flowers. Rustic. Related to the country, rural, simple. The artist tried to claim his country house as a tax write-off since he made his living painting rustic scenes. Parlay. 1. To bet the winnings of an initial game or race on another. 2. To set about to increase or improve something. The girl was unable to parlay her chance appearance in the commercial into a lucrative modeling career. Gaff. An embarrassing or stupid mistake. The piano player's gaff made the dancers hesitate, for which the judges marked them down. Fledgling. Someone that is new or inexperienced at something. The fledgling skydiver was excited and nervous about her first solo jump. Jaded. Made numb or wary through excess or unpleasant experience. The summer I spent eating nothing but ice cream made me jaded towards sweets for the rest of my life. Posit. To claim or propose as true. Sports writers across the country posited the team as the best ever before it had even played a game. Meander. To wander aimlessly, without purpose or direction. We meandered through the mansion for hours, ducking into huge unused bedrooms in at least three different kitchens. Compulsion. Something that is done out of constraint or coercion. He suffered from a compulsion that drove him to gamble even as it was destroying his life. Capricious. Done without plan or reason, following personal whimsy. Pregnant women are notorious for their capricious food choices, like having pickles with ice cream. Haven. A safe place. The shallow bay is a haven for seals, since the sharks do not hunt there. Plethora. An excessive amount, overabundance. If you're really hungry, the advantage of eating at a buffet is the plethora of available food. Sap. To drain the strength or vitality from. The captured spy's energy was sapped by the sedatives his captors put in his water. Conundrum. A difficult, puzzling, or unsolvable situation. Having too many Christmas presents is a conundrum that most children can only dream of. Offhand. Casual, nonchalant. She made an offhand comment about her dad's private jet, which let me know how wealthy she was. Demagogue. 
A fanatic leader who persuades through passionate speech. The demagogue spat out a fiery rhetoric, warning that those who weren't followers of his cause would be punished. Falter. 1. To hesitate or stumble. 2. To waver in confidence or strength. The horse faltered after being bumped coming out of the gate, but recovered well enough to come in second place. Spartan. Characterized by austerity, self-discipline, lacking comfort or luxury. Since he was used to being poor, my grandfather kept Spartan habits even when he got rich, often still packing his own food when he was out on trips. Pulmonary Of or pertaining to the lungs He has pulmonary problems, so it is often hard for him to breathe. Livid 1. Extremely angry 2. Discolored, as from a bruise the workers were livid over the fact that the manager took away their lunch break. Chastise. To punish or criticize. The boys were chastised by their mothers for stealing the cake. Concede. 1. To yield or give up. 2. To admit or acknowledge. Confronted with the evidence, the lawyer had to concede the point to his opponent. Eloquent. Well-spoken, persuasive, expressive. In spite of the beauty of his writing, the author was not an eloquent speaker. Brisk. 1. Lively, energetic. 2. Stimulating. 3. Sharp, casually rude. Wanting to fire up the crowd, the band played the song at a brisk tempo. Balm. Something that soothes or heals. An ointment. The nurse applied a balm to the burn on his arm. Aghast. Shocked, horrified. The small town citizens were aghast that a serial killer had been living among them for over a decade. Ordain. 1. To declare a person to a certain formal position. 2. To predestine as through fate. My uncle was just ordained as a priest. Extort. To obtain, often money, through force or the threat of force. The gangsters extorted money from the shop owner by threatening to set his business on fire if he didn't pay. Penal. Related to legal punishment. The issue of penal reform, including mandatory sentences for drug offenses, will be a hot one in the upcoming election. Detest. To loathe or dislike intensely. I detested the neighbors who kept me up at night with their screaming. Dolt. A stupid or foolish person. My grandfather would call us dolts when we did something stupid like knock our milk over at the dinner table. Peon. An unskilled, low-paid worker. Even though I have 20 years of seniority, the new manager treats me like a peon. Domesticity. Things related to the home or family. After all his wild years as a touring comedian, the man was happy to get married and settle down into suburban domesticity. Ravage. To damage or destroy through violence. The trailer park was ravaged by the tornado, which left almost nothing standing. Regent. A ruler or governor. The kingdom's aging regent has yet to name a successor, making it likely that civil war will break out if he dies unexpectedly. Theologian. Someone who studies religion. If you have a complex question about God, you should ask a theologian about it. Decadence. A state of immorality or self-indulgence. Rock bands like the Rolling Stones were known for the decadence of their tours, where no drug or sexual perversion was unknown. Unassailable. Unable to be questioned, attacked, or challenged. Coca-Cola has long been the unassailable leader in the soft drink industry, but its market share has recently diminished. Dissent. To disagree with something, especially official views. There was one lone senator who dared to dissent from the vote supporting the war. Opaque. 1. Not transparent, cloudy. 2. Unclear, difficult to understand. 
The lawyer's explanation was unnecessarily opaque, designed to show off his legal knowledge. Ambivalent. Having mixed or contradictory feelings. I was ambivalent about my company's new office. It was closer to my house, but less comfortable than the old one. Eclectic. Made up of various styles or sources. The food at the new restaurant is an eclectic mix of Indian and Asian, with some Cuban spices thrown in. Effigy. A representation of a person that is burned or otherwise used to express public disapproval. They brought out a life-sized effigy of the president and then attacked it with sticks to show their anger with his policies. Ambiguous. 1. Having more than one possible meaning or interpretation. 2. Unclear. Uncertain. I don't like arthouse movies because their endings are always so ambiguous. I like movies where the bad guys lose and the good guys win. Clandestine. Secret. We set up a clandestine meeting with the senator in order to bribe him. Servile. Slavish. Excessively submissive or subservient. His mother's servile manner, the way she waits on him hand and foot, cooking him meals and cleaning up after him, is depressing. Consternation. Anxiety, disappointment, confusion. The passengers reacted with consternation when it was announced that the plane was making an emergency landing. Reciprocal. Mutual, equal, as of an exchange. There was a reciprocal trust between the men that allowed them to come to an agreement quickly. Jut. To stick out, protrude. The nail jut out from the corner of the table, so people often got their clothes caught on it. Dole. To distribute or give out, especially food, money, or aid to the needy. The charity soup line doles out healthy portions of stew to the homeless every day around noon. Occult. Mysterious, secret, supernatural. That the woman lit her house with candles made her seem like an occult figure, though in reality she was just sensitive to light. Verbosity. Wordiness. The politician's verbosity was matched only by his pretentiousness, so not only were his speeches long, they were also condescending. Complicity. Taking part in illegal activity. Even though she didn't pull the trigger, she was sentenced to life in prison for her complicity in the crime since she bought the gun and had driven the getaway car. Motif. Theme in an artwork. The symphony's motif is played by the violas and the cellos in the finale. Plight. Great trouble, misfortune, or hardship. History books often mention the plight of Native Americans in the early days of colonial America, but few really delve into their suffering. Larceny. Theft. For stealing the watch, he was convicted of petty larceny. Profuse. Abundant, plentiful, in great supply. He gave profuse thanks to the strangers who picked him up off the side of the desert road. Engulf. To cover completely, envelop. The car was engulfed by the rising water, so he had to climb a light pole to escape the flood. Facade. The outer or superficial appearance of something. She puts on a good facade when her parents are around, but her friends all know that her smiling and kind remarks are just a show. Carnal. Sensual, sexual, wicked, related to the flesh. Teen horror films are always sure to include nudity, since carnal exploits go hand in hand with blood and mayhem in the genre. Mandate. An authoritative command or directive. The government issued a mandate forbidding tourism of any kind on the Galapagos Islands in order to protect the wildlife there. Quotient. A specific amount or degree. He got more than his quotient of the rations, since he stole the extras from the supply tent. Stratify. To put into layers or levels. To organize hierarchically. Healthcare statistics are rigidly stratified along class lines, with poor people having more health problems and significantly less health care. Quirk. 1. An odd personal trait. 2. 
an unexpected twist or event. Cats are like people in that they have quirks. My cat, for instance, won't go anywhere near someone in socks. Bureaucracy. 1. A large, complicated administrative structure of a corporation or government. 2. Overly complicated or inefficient official procedure. My application form has been lost in the IRS bureaucracy for over a year, even though they keep telling me that I'll have an answer by next week. Anomaly. Something that deviates from the norm. It is an anomaly for her to have passed the test, since she's failed all the other tests this year. Jubilation. Joy. Exuberant happiness. When they finally graduated, after four hard years, the students threw their mortarboards into the air in a show of great jubilation. Tenacious. Persistent, holding firm. The teacher picked up a tenacious cold from one of his students. Even with medication, it lingered for months. Scold. To verbally reprimand. Chastise. The boy was scolded by his mother for putting dirt in the coffee maker. Equinox. The two times of the year when the sun is above the equator and day and night are at equal lengths. Ancient religions often celebrated the equinox. The perfect division between night and day was an especially important marker for agricultural societies. Editorialize. To offer an opinion, especially in something that claims to be factual. Instead of just reporting the facts about the tragedy, the report went on to editorialize and blame the government. Sumptuous. Lavish, rich, expensive. She treated us to a sumptuous dinner of lobster and steak, served on solid silver plates. Intercede. To intervene on someone's behalf. Luckily, the teacher interceded just as the squabble between the two boys was about to get violent. Anterior. 1. In the front. 2. Before. Preceding. The anterior of the plane is where the cockpit is located. Remedial. Intended to help with basic skills, especially in school. Because he was not reading as well as the other kids in his grade, he was put in a remedial English class. Arbitrate. To settle a dispute or argument. To judge. The lawyer was asked to step in and arbitrate the dispute between the two owners. Aberration. Something not normal. An anomaly. Last week's collapse is an aberration. Normally the team is quite good. Perverse. 1. Stubbornly opposed to doing what is expected or acceptable. 2. Corrupt. Wicked. 3. Sexually perverted. Despite her parents' repeated warnings and punishments, the girl had a perverse habit of stealing her sister's glasses. Trepidation. Hesitation, fearfulness, anxiety. She opened the door to the haunted house with trepidation, her hands shaking and her heart pounding. Vilify. To portray as evil, to speak ill of, defame. The politician was vilified in the press for opposing the creation of new homes for those displaced by the earthquake. Contusion. A bruise. The girl was not badly injured by her fall. She had various contusions, but no cuts or broken bones. Carom. To hit and bounce off something. The basketball caromed off the rim and right into the boy's face, mashing his glasses. Cynic. Someone who is skeptical, especially about the sincerity or motivations of others. Bill is such a cynic that he thinks celebrity charity donations are just publicity stunts. Analogous. Similar in certain ways. World War I and World War II are analogous in certain respects, but that doesn't mean that their causes were the same. Dichotomy. Something composed of two opposed parts, a division, separation. Many mythologies contain origin stories for basic dichotomies like night-day, black-white, wet-dry. Moors. Accepted social standards or conventions in a certain society. Morals. Different cultures have different mores, so diplomats must be skilled at knowing when eye contact or a handshake would be considered rude.
Repugnant. Disgusting. Offensive. I found a man's suggestion that we let the people of poor nations starve morally repugnant. Compendium. 1. A summary or abridged version. 2. A complete list. The twenty-volume set about Gettysburg contained a complete compendium listing all the newspaper accounts of the battle. Rigidity. Firmness. The quality of being unyielding, strict, or unchanging. The school's main draw was the rigidity of its curriculum. Students there still learned classic Greek and Latin, just as students had a century before. Placate. To appease, soothe, or pacify. The driver of the car that Ted hit was not placated by Ted's lame excuse. Abhor. To despise or be disgusted by. My little brother absolutely abhors onions. He won't go near any food that he thinks might have an onion in it. Unconscionable. Outside the bounds of reason or moderation. Excessive. Unrestrained. Considering the poverty of his own family, many felt that it was unconscionable for the man to burn the money he won on the show. Brash. 1. Done without thinking or planning. Reckless. 2. Self-assertive or bold in a rude way. Ignoring the advice of commanders, the brash young general ordered his outnumbered troops to attack. Eminent. 1. Highly respected or distinguished. 2. Conspicuous. Easy to spot. There are a lot of reasons to oppose Walmart. Eminent among them is the way the company undermines even robust local economies. Disseminate. To spread widely, to make known. The rumor was disseminated quickly throughout the prison, so soon everyone was talking about the holiday feast. Adamant. Firm. Unyielding. Immune to persuasion. Their mom was adamant that they had to clean their rooms before they could go play. Lament. To express or feel grief, sorrow, or regret. I lament the fact that we didn't buy the property when we had the chance. Now it's worth millions. Bask. 1. To take great pleasure or satisfaction in. 2. To be exposed to. Many athletes are content to bask in the glory of their past successes, but that wasn't an option for him since he had never won anything. Cunning. Marked by skilled deception, clever, shrewd. The ambush was a masterpiece of cunning. Parry. To deflect or defend against an attack, question, etc. Using the shovel, the courageous farmer parried the pirate's sword thrust. Penance. Self-punishment or remorse for wrongdoing. As penance for stealing and crashing the family car, the teenager cleaned the whole house and then painted the barn. Valor. Bravery. Honor. The warriors that Homer writes about in the Iliad and the Odyssey are as filled with moral flaws as they are with superhuman valor and strength. Fanciful. 1. Imaginative. Unreal. 2. Highly ornamental or intricate. James has a fanciful notion that we're going on a cruise, and I don't have the heart to tell him that we can't afford it. Prude. An uptight person who is overly concerned with manners or decorum. He is such a prude that he turns bright red if someone even says the word sex. Euphemism. An inoffensive word substituted for a more offensive word. When people say that you're big-boned, it's just a euphemism. They're really saying that you're fat. Subside. 1. To become less intense or severe. 2. Of water to go down. After he had a few days to relax, his anger subsided and he was able to forget about the whole incident. Inalienable. Incapable of being taken away or transferred. It is important to note that the Constitution says that citizens have inalienable rights, especially in times when politicians want to challenge those rights. Attune. 1. To become accustomed to or harmonious with something. 2. 
to be aware. A good market analyst is attuned to the subtle shifts in the economy. Discern. To perceive or recognize. Our seats at the basketball game were so bad it was hard to discern who was who on the court. For a while, I thought Shaq was Dwayne Wade. Pious. Devoutly religious. Some particularly pious Christians do not celebrate Christmas because they feel that it is too materialistic. Iconic. Related to or having the characteristics of an icon. The movie Rocky has an iconic status among Sylvester Stallone fans. Homogeneous. Of the same or similar kind. Since they were all born from the same mother, the pups have relatively homogeneous physical features. Aggravate. 1. To make worse. 2. To irritate or anger somebody. Her screaming at the cop only aggravated the situation. Imprudent. Unwise, not thought out. It would be imprudent to quit your job right now since you have so many bills and the job market is so bad. Imperative. Requiring immediate attention or action. It is imperative that you wait 30 minutes after eating before you go swimming. Otherwise, you might cramp up and drown. Deploy. To distribute strategically, especially troops or military supplies. Many helicopters were deployed to the disaster area to transport the wounded to hospitals. Credible. Believable. Worthy of acceptance. Intelligence reports for that region are often wrong, but it would be unwise in this case to ignore all the credible reports that indicate a possible threat. Discursive. 1. Related to discourse or argument. 2. Rambling, digressive. My uncle is a college professor, so even simple questions like how are you doing are met with discursive answers that can touch on topics like astronomy and the use of printing presses in the American Revolution. Exponent An advocate or supporter Because of his time spent studying poverty in South Africa, he is an exponent of relieving poor countries of their debts to rich countries. Exonerate To free from blame or a criminal charge the jury exonerated her because there was no evidence to prove the case against her. Quandary A perplexing dilemma. Since I couldn't go backwards for fear of being eaten by the dragon, and I couldn't go forwards because of the river of fire, I was in quite a quandary. Ramshackle Rickety, poorly constructed, or held together. He lives in a ramshackle place by the train station, and I'm surprised that the trains don't rattle the rotten boards loose and make the whole thing collapse. Delude. To deceive, mislead, or trick. Don't be deluded by her behavior into thinking that she has changed. She's just trying to impress you, but soon she'll be back to her old bad habits. Encrypt. To put into code. Most secure websites encrypt any data that you enter in order to keep thieves and hackers from stealing it. Unearthly. 1. Unnatural, otherworldly, out of the ordinary. 2. Weird, strange, haunting. The girl's beauty was so remarkable as to almost be unearthly. Rejoinder. An answer or reply. Having expected the police to ask him about his actions, the man had a ready rejoinder. Complacence. The quality of being willing to please or obliging, agreeable. The dog's complacence is remarkable. Even when the kids pull its tail or try to ride it, it remains very gentle and patient with them. Moralist Someone who teaches or preaches a particular morality, often trying to impose their views on others. I know he means well, but Ed is such a moralist that I get tired of hearing him tell me how to live a good life. Highbrow Related to intellectual interests or tastes. Sophisticated Highbrow cinema has almost disappeared from Hollywood. Most movies nowadays involve nothing more complex than sex and explosions. Cordial. Friendly. Courteous. The greetings between the two diplomats were cordial. Paltry. Trifling. Of little or no value. 
I don't know why you don't just pay your library fine. It's such a paltry sum you could probably take care of it with loose change from the couch. Cadre. A small group of people trained for a specific task or purpose, as in the military. The fire at the oil refinery was put out by a cadre of skilled firemen. Concession. 1. The act of conceding or granting. 2. Something conceded. In order to foster the truce, the militia gave up its guns as a concession to the peace process. Centrifugal. Moving outward from the center or related to a centrifuge. Some carnival rides operate by centrifugal force, spinning so that the people are flung outwards, like on the tilt-a-whirl. Route. 1. An overwhelming defeat. 2. A disorderly retreat of defeated soldiers. The team scored 30 unanswered points in the first quarter, and the game quickly became a rout. Fluster. To make nervous or agitated. He was flustered by the interviewer's hostile questioning, so he could only stammer and offer lame excuses. Abysmal. 1. Very bad. Awful. 2. Immeasurable. Immense. Profound. That basketball game was abysmal. It looked like the teams could only score by accident. Palpable. Perception. Able to be easily sensed. The tension in the room as the judge came in to announce the verdict was palpable. Invigorate. To fill with life or energy. The old man was invigorated by his morning swim in the freezing lake. He felt more awake and alive than he had in weeks. Morose. Gloomy, sullen, melancholy. She's been morose ever since that guy broke up with her. She just sits and stares at the floor and doesn't talk to anyone. Raucous. Noisy, loud, chaotic. After the teacher left the room, the class quickly became raucous with all the kids shouting and laughing. Moat. A speck or particle, especially dust. Be sure to vacuum under the bed to get all the moats out from under there. Keen. 1. Sharp, piercing. 2. Perceptive, mentally quick. 3. Eager, enthusiastic. The man was keen on keeping the business in the family because it had meant so much to his father, but none of his children wanted the responsibility. Cursory. Hasty, superficial, rapidly. I only gave the reading a cursory glance, so I failed the pop quiz. Vehement. Passionate, intensely emotional, forceful. The mayor vehemently denied the charges, claiming that anyone who said he had committed a crime was a liar. Tome. A large, heavy, scholarly book. The man's backpack was weighed down by a tome, which turned out to be an unabridged dictionary. Orthodox. Traditional or conventional. Getting married in a church is the orthodox way to do it, but we want to do something more radical, so we're having a priest perform the ceremony as we skydive. Guileless. Honest, sincere, straightforward. The guileless man returned the bag of money he found to the police, whereas most of us would have spent it. Breach. To break or rupture, make an opening in. The hull of the boat was breached by the iceberg's tip. Pragmatic. Practical. My parents didn't think that it was pragmatic for me to major in art. They wanted me to study business instead. Epigraph. 1. An engraved inscription. 2. A quotation found at the beginning of a book, chapter, etc. The epigraph above the main door to the university's law school reads, Truth is eternal. Askew. 1. Crooked, awry, to one side. 2. Expressing disapproval or scorn. His parents valued money above all else, so they looked at him askew for wanting to become a monk. Ore. A rock which contains valuable minerals or metal. The mine yields six tons of ore per day, which the gold is then extracted from. Lol. 1. To stand or recline in a relaxed manner. 2. To dangle or hang loosely. 
The dog's tongue lolled from its mouth as he panted. Verity. Truthfulness. Accuracy. In accordance with fact. The surveillance videos prove the verity of the man's description of the crime. Ascribe. To attribute, to credit, or assign. Historians ascribe the crash to poor safety standards and shoddy building materials. Serrated. Having a jagged edge or saw-like teeth. It will be easy to cut the branches using my knife because it has a serrated edge. Utilitarian. Concerned with or pertaining to use, rather than appearance, etc. Carlito hates to spend money on furniture, so he decorates with a utilitarian style, turning milk crates into bookshelves. Oblique. Not straightforward, indirect. Not wanting her mom to catch on to her plans, the girl made an oblique reference to the party that only her friend picked up on. Abstain. To restrain oneself from doing or enjoying something. After I started taking medications for my heart, I had to abstain from drinking because the drugs don't mix well with alcohol. Austere. 1. Simple, bare. 2. Stern, strict, severe. The austere house, which had only a few pieces of furniture and no pictures or knickknacks, appealed to the woman. Unseemly. Inappropriate, not proper, indecorous, tasteless. Your unseemly behavior at the cocktail party was a disgrace. I don't think that the senator or his wife will ever come to our home again. Insurrection. A rebellion, uprising, or revolt. The student's refusal to quiet down or pay attention to their teacher quickly became an insurrection, so the principal had to be called in to restore order. Affiliate. A person or organization that is related to another. Most TV stations have affiliates in other locations, which they use to report on news local to that area. Idolatry. 1. Excessive devotion or admiration. 2. The worship of idols. Collecting celebrity signatures is a form of idolatry. What good is it to have a famous person sign a shirt or a book? Capitulate. To surrender. Tired of fighting, I capitulated to the kids' demand that I take them to the pool and buy them ice cream. Fretful. Worried. Agitated. The girl lay in her bed, biting her nails and sweating, fretful about the piano recital she had to give the next day. Compartmentalize. To divide or separate into different parts or categories. Sally is good at compartmentalizing her life, so that even when her work is stressful, she is able to enjoy her free time. Elixir. A magical or medicinal potion. There are many stories and myths about an elixir that provides eternal life. Monotheism. Belief in one God. Most major religions nowadays are monotheistic. In some ancient religions, however, people worshipped many gods. Solvent. Capable of paying all debts. After I won the lottery, I was finally solvent, so I sent out checks clearing my credit card and student loan bills. Belittle. To put down, mock, or disparage. The girl felt that her teacher had belittled her by using her paper as an example of what not to do. Consummate. 1. To complete. 2. To legitimize a marriage through sexual intercourse. The woman argued that her marriage should be annulled because it was never consummated since her husband died in the limo crash immediately after the ceremony. Fallibility. Capable of making mistakes or being deceived. It would be impossible for anyone to be perfect. Fallibility is one of the things that makes us human. Respite. A period of rest or relief from something unpleasant or difficult. The occasional bits of shade we found offered us some respite from the burning desert sun. Lull. 1. To soothe or calm. 2. To give a false sense of peace and security. We were lulled by the pause in the gunfire into thinking that the battle was finally over. Deem. To judge, think, or regard. We didn't go on any more night missions because the captain deemed them too risky. Converge. 
to meet or come together. The streams converge near the foot of the mountain, forming the river that runs all the way through the state. Bleak. 1. Desolate or bare. 2. Without hope, depressing. Cut off from any hope of rescue, running low on food, desperate for medicine and shelter, the explorer's chances for survival looked bleak. Estrange. To cause to feel less affectionate, close, or friendly. Their fight estranged the two teammates. Debacle. A total disaster, fiasco, failure. Since the singer couldn't hear the tape he was lip-syncing to, the performance was a debacle. Benevolent. Kind. Good. Helpful. The house was haunted by a benevolent spirit, which cleaned up after the kids and helped the mother do the dishes at night. Impassive. Without emotion. Even though she was very upset about losing the spelling bee, the girl did not want to cry on stage, so she forced herself to look impassive. Jostle. To bump or push. The club was so packed that it was hard to move without jostling someone and causing them to spill their drink. Adjudicate. 1. To judge. 2. To settle or put an end to. The contest was adjudicated by an official observer. Awry. Wrong. A miss. We could tell something had gone awry with the plan when the operative wasn't at his target at the right time. Cacophony. Harsh, loud, dissonant combination of sounds. The sound of the drum set falling down the stairs made a terrible cacophony. Indubitable. Certain, unquestionable, that which cannot be doubted. The facts, which are collected by machines and triple-checked by experts, are indubitable. Bulk. 1. To stop short. 2. To refuse. The boy balked at having to take off his shorts and go in the water. He was too embarrassed. Deride. To mock or ridicule. The play was derided by critics for being unoriginal and boring. Alluring. Highly attractive, tempting, or desirable. Who would say no to such an offer? It is too alluring to turn down. Immaculate. Spotlessly clean or pure. Flawless. My driving record was immaculate until I got pulled over for running that red light. Aloof. Remote or distant, either physically or emotionally. She remained aloof even during the difficult days that followed the tragedy, talking only to her closest friends. Cash. A hidden storage place or anything placed in one. When my mother found my brother's cache of pornographic magazines, she grounded him for five months. Filibuster. To prevent the normal functioning of the Congress by making long, uninterrupted speeches. The Democrats decided to filibuster to prevent the bill from passing. They gave speeches that lasted for days until the Republicans agreed to withdraw the bill. Eerie. Strange. Haunting. The lights coming from the boats out in the foggy lake had an eerie effect which made the ghost stories that the group was telling on the shore that much scarier. Static. Unmoving, stationary, showing no change. The president's approval ratings have been static for the past few weeks in spite of his efforts to reassure people about his leadership. Tread. 1. To step or walk. 2. To trample, walk on or over. Don't you dare tread into the house with your muddy boots on. Impious. Lacking respect for God and or religion. It was a shock to see the banker in church, given his impious attitude towards religion. Paternal. 1. Related to or characteristic of a father. 2. From the father's side of the family. My paternal grandfather was a pilot. He used to take my father up in his plane when my father was a little boy. Indigenous. Native to an area or region. Horses are not indigenous to this continent. It was only after colonialists arrived that horses were introduced here. Enthuse. To show enthusiasm or be enthusiastic. 
The game show contestant was extremely enthused about the new car she had won. Repentant. Characterized by or displaying regret or remorse for past conduct. I am feeling repentant about kicking your dog. Voluptuous. 1. Related to indulgent sensual or sexual pleasure. 2. Of a woman's body, sexually attractive, curvy. Detective stories are always populated by voluptuous women who ensnare the detectives with their sexual allure. Esoteric. 1. Understood by or meant for few people. 2. Secret, private. Particle physics seems like a very esoteric subject to most people. Mar. To make imperfect, to damage. The beautiful views off the coast in Southern California are marred by the oil derricks out in the ocean. Inept. 1. Incompetent, done without skill. 2. Inappropriate, foolish. I don't want to say that you are inept at carpentry, but the wall you built last week collapsed this morning. Maim. 1. To cripple, to deprive of the use of a limb. 2. To impair. He has been confined to a wheelchair ever since he was maimed by a landmine in World War II. Lackluster. Dull. Without vitality or energy. His newest novel is notably lackluster. The words seem to fall dead off the page and the characters are lifeless and wooden. Repudiate. To reject emphatically as untrue. The businessman brought dozens of witnesses to court to repudiate the charges against him. Coda. A concluding section, especially in music. The orchestra's performance was pretty good, but they rushed the coda of the last piece. It was as though they wanted to hurry up and finish. Agape. Wide open. The little boy's mouth was agape with wonder at the magician's trick. Arrhythmic. Without regularity or rhythm. The conductor stopped the recital on account of the arrhythmic horn section. Trist. A secret meeting or appointment, especially for lovers. The man and woman went to a motel during their lunch hours for their tris, until the husband found out. Lustrous. Shining. The store's diamonds looked especially lustrous under the bright display lights. Repose. The state of being at rest, calm or peaceful. I found myself in a state of repose in his easy chair, lulled to sleep by the Thanksgiving dinner. Retort. A sharp or witty answer to a question or remark. When the interviewer challenged her credentials, the executive retorted by saying, I went to Yale. Where did you go to college? Adorn. To decorate. To make more attractive. The altar was adorned with white flowers for the wedding. Intermittent. Occurring occasionally at irregular intervals. The meeting was intermittently interrupted by the ringing phone. Renounce. To give up any claim to, to reject. Disgusted by his father's business, the boy renounced all the money that was left to him in the will. Tribute. 1. Something intended to show respect, admiration, gratitude. 2. Something which indicates the worth of something else. That he was chosen by his peers for the award is a tribute to his popularity. Topple. To knock over or down. The old fence toppled when the truck hit it. Bombastic. Grandiose or pompous in writing or speech. The senator's bombastic speech, filled with condescending statements and hastily inserted biblical references, did not endear him to the church group. Luxuriant. 1. Characterized by rich or profuse growth. 2. Excessively elaborate, luxurious. Luxuriant weeds hid the opening of the secret passage. Nautical. Related to ships or sailing. Port and starboard are nautical terms referring to the left and right sides of a ship. Taut. Pulled or stretched tight. To be secure, the ropes holding the package must be taut.
decrepit, worn and broken down. With its rickety stairways and crumbling walls, the decrepit building was bound to be condemned eventually. Omnivorous. 1. Eating both meat and vegetables. 2. Taking in everything available. The best writers are also omnivorous readers, willing to read anything that is put in front of them. Pariah. An outcast from society. After he was released from jail, Tim was surprised to find that people who used to be friendly with him now treated him like a pariah. Malevolent. Evil. Harmful. Malicious. A malevolent spirit has taken over the house, causing the walls to bleed. Surrogate. A substitute. Something that stands in for something else. Soy milk can be used as a surrogate for milk in many recipes. Expedite. To speed up the process of, make more efficient. Usually it takes weeks to get an application approved, but my application was expedited so it only took two days. Deface. To mar the appearance of, disfigure. Graffiti artists deface the building across the street. Repulse. To drive away, repel. The troops' first attempts to scale the wall were repulsed by the soldiers defending it. Prudence. Careful judgment. Caution. Successful investors exercise prudence when thinking about buying a risky or unproven stock. Surplus. An excess. An amount that exceeds what is necessary. The store put the mops on sale because there was a surplus of them. Synthesis. A combination of different elements which forms a whole. Ska music is a synthesis of reggae and punk. Philanthropy. Something, like charity, intended to improve the well-being of mankind. Most wealthy business people engage in some form of philanthropy, usually through donations to charities. Impending. About to happen. The company's impending sale provoked a flurry of speculation about the value of the stock. Persevere. To not give up. To keep going through adversity or difficulty. Even though he was suffering from dehydration and starvation, the mountain climber persevered. Transpire. 1. To happen or occur. 2. To come to be. Prove to be so. The plane was flooded just as the scientists predicted it would transpire. Preen. To take efforts to make oneself look attractive. Teenagers spend a lot of time preening in front of the mirror before they go to school. Expunge. To eliminate, remove. Because of the DNA evidence that proved his innocence, the conviction was expunged from his record. Conjecture. A guess or conclusion based on inconclusive evidence. It's pure conjecture that the senator took bribes since there's no hard evidence to prove it. Dispatch. An official written message sent out with speed. The general sent out an urgent dispatch alerting his commanders to the enemy's approach. Token. Done only as a gesture, without sincere intent. They sent a token check for $100, but they never really intended to pay me the $20,000. Syncopation. An intricate rhythm where weak beats are emphasized. The music of James Brown is marked by syncopated drum beats and bass lines. Imminent. About to occur. You can tell that a computer crash is imminent when your system slows for no reason. Kareen. To move in an uncontrolled, erratic manner. The tire exploded and the car careened wildly across the road. Prim. Excessively proper and neat. Prudish. The man was very prim. He did not enjoy the rude jokes that the other members of his fraternity told. Banter. To engage in light-hearted, humorous communication. Sarah enjoys being a waitress because she likes to banter with people. Impending. To attribute something to a cause or source. 
Bill Gates' success is often attributed to his ability to market new concepts to a wide audience. Elide 1. To leave out a sound or syllable. 2. To merge. When Ted says was not, he elides it so that it sounds like wasn't. Pillage To steal by force, especially in wartime. The Vikings were notorious for pillaging towns, killing the men and taking whatever they could. Elaborate Characterized by intricacy or complexity of detail. My brother had an elaborate excuse for why he failed his math tests, which included a mysterious memory loss. Exasperated To irritate or annoy greatly. The teacher was exasperated by the class's chit-chat, so she sent them all to the principal. Extract To remove, to take out. Thankfully, the doctor was able to extract the marble from my nose. Loiter 1. To linger without a purpose. 2. To dawdle or delay. Tired of shoplifters, the clerk now calls the cops whenever he sees kids loitering around the store. Irascible. Irritable. Easily angered. Ever since she lost her job, Latoya has been irascible, snapping at people for the slightest reasons. Mundane. Ordinary. Boring. Marcus is good in emergencies. It's mundane tasks like cleaning the house that he can't handle. Ramification. The possible result or outcome. The ramifications of the new poverty bill are unclear. It could help struggling Americans or hurt those most in need. Quip. A sarcastic remark. As the cop handed her the ticket, the woman quipped that she had been looking for a reason to go to court. Deposition. A legal statement that is used as evidence in a trial. Much of the junior lawyer's work involves taking depositions from witnesses. Ascertain. To learn or discover with certainty. Before you hire anyone for an important position, ascertain the facts about their background. Ruddy. Flushed. Red. Her cheeks took on a ruddy glow as she sat by the fire. Amenable. Responsive to suggestions or persuasion. Agreeable. It's easy to plan a night out with Fred because he's amenable to doing almost anything. Cataclysm. A sudden, violent force that creates destruction. The eruption of the volcano marked the beginning of a cataclysm that wiped out all of the island's inhabitants. Vex. 1. To irritate, annoy, or disturb. 2. To puzzle. That his grandma gave him a crossword puzzle when he really wanted a PlayStation vexed Martin. Reprobate. An unprincipled, depraved, and or immoral person. Faced with such a reprobate, a man who showed no remorse or interest in being rehabilitated, the judge was forced to impose the maximum sentence. Cast. One level within a hierarchical social structure, as divided by money, status, heritage, etc. The shop boy's love for the princess was doomed, for they were born into two different castes. Rarify. 1. To purify or refine. 2. To make less dense. The conversation was rarefied by the presence of the priest, who guided it towards less offensive subjects. Sportive. Playful. Joking. Happy. The clown convention is always a sportive occasion. Knave. A dishonest, immoral person. A scoundrel. Ever since he stole my sister's bike, I have been convinced that Tim is a knave. Sentient. Capable of perception or feeling. Much research has been done recently concerning whether plants should be considered sentient beings. Ruminate. To ponder, to think over deeply. The one-hit wonder spent many nights ruminating over his lost fame and success. Astringent. 1. Sharp, bitter, caustic. 2. Severe, stern. 3. Causing constriction or contraction. The troops' low morale could be traced to their commander's astringent manner. He never talked but to criticize. 
Hovel. Small, dirty dwelling. The hovel the hobo lives in is really just an abandoned shed. Convoluted. 1. Complicated, complex. 2. Twisted, coiled. The lawyer's argument was so convoluted that the jury, unable to follow it, convicted her defendant. Reverential. Characterized by reverence, showing awe, respect, veneration. Fans give the superstar singer reverential treatment, staring quietly at her in admiration as she signs autographs. Artlessness. 1. Being natural, uncontrived, not artificial. 2. Free from deceit, cunning. The artlessness of the boy's questions made people trust him. Precarious. 1. Risky or dangerous. 2. Unstable, insecure, out of one's control. If you quit, it will put me in a precarious position because I will be the only one left to blame if something goes wrong. Hoodwink. Trick. Deceive. Con. The man was hoodwinked by the smooth-talking salesman into buying a used car for the price of a new one. Garrulous. Excessively talkative. Once my uncle gets a few drinks in him, he is so garrulous that you'd have to stuff something in his mouth to get him to stop talking. Tussle. A vigorous fight or struggle. The boys pinched and pushed each other, tussling over who would get to ride in the front seat. Emaciated. Extremely thin and weak, as from starvation. As the emaciated survivors staggered out of the concentration camp, the Allied soldiers were glad to have played some role in freeing them. Circumspect. Cautious, prudent, well-considered. The robber was never caught because he was so circumspect. He only chose homes whose owners were away on vacation. Canter. An easy gallop. We wanted to give the horses some exercise, so we took them at a canter over the hill. Christen. To name. Delighted with the purchase, the couple christened their new home Happy Acres. Paul. A gloom or darkness that spreads, enveloping something. After my uncle told everyone that he had cancer, a pall fell over the room. Erudition. Knowledge gained through study and research, learning, scholarship. Though he doesn't know how to wash his own clothes, the professor's erudition in his field is unmatched. He has read everything related to the subject. Purport. To claim, often falsely. The curator purported that the painting was an original Van Gogh, but anyone could see that it was a fraud. Propensity. An inclination. Tendency. She has a propensity to smoke when she's nervous. Esthete. A lover of art or beauty who is unconcerned with practical matters. Brad paints houses. He thinks that makes him an esthete, so he doesn't bother to bathe or pay his taxes. Foible. A slight character flaw. Quirk. My wife puts up with all my foibles, like how I don't close my mouth when I chew. Oust. To remove or expel from a position. The Prime Minister was ousted from power as evidence of his corruption emerged. Impetuous. Impulsive. Rash. I made the impetuous decision to marry him even though I'd only known him for a few hours. Licentious. Lewd. Sexually unrestrained. Immoral. Girls Gone Wild features college girls engaging in licentious behavior. Ruse. A trick or deception. Glenda told Jack that he couldn't come home because the painters were working, but it was just a ruse so that she could set up a surprise party. Grouse. To complain. Annoyed that their mother was taking them to the laundromat instead of the movies, the kids grouse the whole ride there. Nettle. To bother. Irritate. That his sister beat him every time they played Monopoly really nettled him. Subterranean. 1. Underground. 2. Hidden. In secret. After atmospheric tests for nuclear weapons were banned, countries began using subterranean ones to experiment with the weapons. Munificence. Generosity. Liberality and gift-giving. 
The boss proved his munificence by giving out iPods to all the employees in the office. Judicious. Wise. Showing prudence or judgment. One has to be judicious when choosing shoes. You want a pair that looks nice, but you want them to be comfortable as well. Venerate. Show respect, admiration, or deference to. To revere. The Dalai Lama is venerated by millions around the globe. Gambit. A maneuver or statement designed to gain an advantage. The gambit that Eminem's character uses to win his rap battle in Eight Mile is to make fun of himself before his opponent can. Inerrant. Without error. Incapable of error. The gambler showed inerrant judgment at the track, choosing all eight of the winning horses. Vigor. Strength. Vitality. Energy. The boy, eager to please his teacher, attacked his assignments with vigor. Teetotaler. Someone who abstains from alcohol. With the support of teetotalers across the country, the 14th Amendment banned the sale of alcoholic beverages in the U.S. Laconic. Using few words. The laconic detective often gets people to say more than they intend to because they want to fill the gaps in the conversation. L.A. To calm, alleviate. My fear of flying was not allayed by the captain's announcement that the engines were on fire. Onerous. Very difficult, burdensome. Even the simplest of chores can seem onerous to kids who aren't used to having any responsibilities. Potpourri, a wide variety. The cafe offers a potpourri of organic teas to choose from. Anachronistic, one, outdated, two, a chronological error where a thing is ascribed to the incorrect time period. It would be anachronistic to call Homer's Odyssey a novel, since novels didn't exist at that time. Olympian, one, related to the gods, two, far beyond the ordinary in degree or magnitude. The citizens took Olympian measures to save their libraries, including holding hunger strikes. Circumlocution, an indirect way of expressing something. His circumlocution made it impossible to tell what he was arguing unless you read between the lines. Florid, one, excessively ornate, showy. Two, red or flushed complexion. It would be an understatement to say that her dress was florid. It was covered in diamonds and the feathers of rare birds. Levity, humor, lack of appropriate seriousness or earnestness. The smiley face button that the man wore to the funeral was a touch of levity for an otherwise somber occasion. Clemency, an act of mercy or forbearance in punishment. The government freed the prisoner as an act of clemency. Antipathy, a feeling of strong dislike. When I found out that John was the one who had vandalized the church, I felt nothing but antipathy towards him. Abdication, the act of renouncing a position or responsibility. The mayor's abdication of his role as supervisor of the city school surprised no one, since he never had any interest in education. Censure. To sharply criticize or blame. Though she wasn't fired, the professor was censured for giving students extra credit for voting for her husband. Marshal. Pertaining to or characterized by the military or war. Patriotic parades always have a martial component to them, with the uniforms and the marching and the rifle twirlers. Stymie. To hinder, prevent, or frustrate something from happening. His attempts to save a million dollars were stymied by his wasteful habits. Vernacular. One, plain, informal, everyday language. Two, the language of a certain place or area. Wanting to hide his wealthy upbringing, the politician spoke in the vernacular, using phrases like ticked off, where he normally would have said immensely displeased. Impel. To cause, incite, or constrain to action. I was impelled to go to the school dance by my best friend, who said she wouldn't talk to me anymore if I didn't go. Obtrude. One, to thrust out or push forward. Two, to impose oneself on others. 
We had to swerve around the garbage truck, which obtruded from the alley out into the street. Cachet. 1. A quality of prestige or distinction. 2. An official seal on a letter or document. The pitcher's comments have a certain cachet that makes the team pay attention, since he has already won a World Series. Bulwark. 1. A wall built for defense. 2. Anything that protects or supports. Joan's sturdy presence during the crisis was a bulwark against other people's panic and fear. Inimical. Harmful. Hostile. This rocky and infertile soil is inimical to growing crops. Scuttle. To move or run hurriedly. Terrified of the oncoming tornado, they scuttled into the basement. Contentious. Causing, involving, or characterized by argument or disagreement. Abortion is a contentious issue in American politics. There's almost no way to raise it without starting an argument. Aberrant. Unusual, not normal, anomalous. Roger's aberrant behavior is going to get him thrown into the insane asylum. Primordial. 1. Primitive, elementary. 2. Related to origins. Scientists study the fossils of primordial life forms to understand the evolution of life on Earth. Banality. Something boring, unoriginal, or ordinary. The banality of working at the same job your whole life is part of what leads people to pursue different careers. Epicure. A person with refined, sensual taste. A connoisseur. Sean is too much of an epicure to take to the Olive Garden. He would turn his nose up at their breads and call their salads greasy. Elementary. Related to or providing nutrition or food. After four days in the forest with no food, even the stray berries that they plucked off the trees had an alimentary effect. Stanch. To stop the flow of a liquid, especially blood. The tourniquet stanched the flow of blood coming from the woman's severed arm. Flout. To show disdain, scorn, contempt for something. Never a conventional thinker, Richard Feynman flouted the conventions of physicists to arrive at new and startling discoveries. Attenuate. To weaken or become weaker in intensity, magnitude, etc. Cell phone signals are greatly attenuated inside the building, so it is hard to make or receive calls. Nonplussed. Confused. Puzzled. I was nonplussed about how my car ended up in the river, since it hadn't been broken into and I hadn't driven it in there. Impugn. To challenge or question the truth of something. Once the evidence of his gambling came out, his family impugned his motives for selling their house. Admonitory. Serving as a warning. The police fired admonitory shots above the crowd to force it to disperse. Revile. To verbally abuse or scorn, to criticize. The dictator was reviled by the people who lived under his brutal leadership. Coquettish. Flirty, teasingly sexual. The girl batted her eyelashes and smiled coquettishly to distract the guard while her friend stole his keys. Mausoleum. A large, extravagant tomb, often above ground. Many of the richest men in Philadelphia's history have mausoleums in this cemetery. Summarily. Prompt, direct, brief, without delay. The employee was summarily dismissed by the supervisor, even without having time to state his case. Fervid. Passionate, vehement, intense. Sweating and swearing, the man fervidly denied the accusations. Gregarious. Outgoing, social. Tina became a bartender because she was gregarious and enjoyed meeting all kinds of people. Umbrage. Offense or annoyance. I take umbrage with your suggestion that I cheated on that test. I earned that score through weeks of studying. Winsome. Attractive, charming, appealing. His winsome smile won him many friends. Resolute. Resolved, determined, firm. 
My father was resolute about not allowing us to watch TV, even as we whined and begged and threw public tantrums. Vexatious. Irritating. Annoying. The girl's loud gum chewing was particularly vexatious because I was trying to concentrate. Tumult. 1. Violent and noisy disturbance or confusion. 2. Mental agitation or disturbance. In the tumult after the explosion, the thief grabbed the diamonds and escaped. Disparate. Distinct. Different. Dissimilar. Poetic metaphors often link two disparate images or ideas, making connections between things like love and roses or fire and anger. Sacrosanct. Extremely sacred. For devout Muslims, the Quran is sacrosanct. It is forbidden to damage or destroy the holy book. Elegy. A mournful poem or song recited at a funeral. The preacher's elegy for Rosa Parks moved all the mourners in attendance to tears. Pander. To indulge, cater to, or to give satisfaction to. TV shows today pander to Americans' desire for bloodshed and sexual intrigue. Partisan. Someone who is enthusiastically devoted to a party or cause. The governor's partisans hailed the move as a stroke of genius, even as critics were claiming that it would ruin state finances. Deferable. Able to be put off or postponed. The sale is not deferable. You need to buy the new car now or you won't get those savings next time you come in. Commensurate. Equal to or proportionate. When they are hired for a job, most people accept a pay rate that is commensurate with their skills and experience. Supplant. To take the place of, to replace. Since I can't have caffeine anymore, my morning coffee has been supplanted by a hot cup of herbal tea. Par. To take down, reduce. The producers had to par the show down from three acts to two because of time constraints. Derisive. Mocking, ridiculing. The woman made derisive comments about her husband's weight and baldness, making it clear that their marriage was not a happy one. Don. To put on a piece of clothing. The judge donned his black robe in his office before he went out into the courtroom. Reticent. Quiet, reserved. She is a reticent woman, so don't be surprised if she doesn't talk during dinner. Circumscribe. 1. To limit, enclose, or restrict. 2. To draw a line around. The doctor recommended that he circumscribe his drinking, as his liver was in bad shape. Lurid. 1. Vivid, graphic, or gruesome. 2. Vivid, unnaturally lit or colored. The lurid details of the crime scene were in the headlines the next day. Nefarious. Wicked, evil. Cartoon villains often have nefarious plans for taking over the world. Locus. A specific place or location. The locus of the protests is the financial district, where the negotiations are taking place. Portly. Fat. Stout. The portly boy had trouble climbing the rope in gym class. Dais. A raised platform at the end of a room. The teacher's podium is on a dais by the chalkboard, so he is always looking down at us. Epithet. 1. A term of abuse or contempt, a curse. 2. A word associated with a person or thing. The villagers chase the thief from the town, throwing rocks and screaming epithets at his back. Punitive. Serving as punishment. The fines had a punitive effect, discouraging the company from repeating the crime. Proselytize. To attempt to convert people to a religion. Many religions urge their followers to proselytize. Some even demand that they go door to door to convince people to join their church. Industrious. Hardworking. Diligent. The girl was an industrious worker, capable of doing more work in an hour than even her fastest co-workers. Artless. 1. Clumsy or inept. 2. Without guile or deception. 3. Natural, simple. The man's pickup line, Hi, I'd like to get to know you, was so artless and direct that most women laughed at him. 
Orthodoxy. A traditional belief or practice. In keeping with the office orthodoxy, I eat my lunches at the company cafeteria instead of going out to a restaurant. Libel. Printed or spoken words which defame or slander a person's character. I can't believe that a distinguished publication like the Times would print libel like that, those rumors about his dead wife. Parsimony. Stinginess. Excessively frugal. The man's parsimony was legendary, so no one was surprised when he refused to pay for his son's operation. Matriculate. To enroll or be admitted to, especially a college or university. After I finished my work in the Peace Corps, I matriculated to Yale. Edify. To instruct, either intellectually or morally. We were edified by the priest's sermon. It gave us a better understanding of man's role in the universe. Ebullient. Overflowing with enthusiasm, excitement, or emotion. She was ebullient after learning that she had won the lottery. She screamed and yelled and cried with happiness. Estrangement. The state of being alienated or distant from other people. Her move to a town where she didn't know anyone caused a feeling of estrangement for the woman. Amalgamate. To join together, to combine into a whole. The wind, rain, and snow amalgamated into one foul mess that made driving impossible. Terry. To delay or linger. She tarried in the bookstore looking through books and magazines. In the end, she was late for her meeting. Exalt. 1. To praise highly, to honor. 2. To raise in status, rank, etc. The boxer was exalted by the people in the neighborhood he grew up in. They painted murals of him and held a parade in his honor. Intractable. Stubborn. Obstinate. Hard to work with or move. I wouldn't bother arguing. Once she gets an idea in her head, she's intractable. Hyperbole. Intentional exaggeration, not meant to be taken literally. When the coach called him the best player to ever play the game, it was hyperbole meant to express how happy he was about the boy's late touchdown. Jaunty. 1. Having a light and lively manner. 2. Stylish or smart in dress. On his way to the dance, the man looked festive and jaunty in his new suit and hat. Depose. To remove from an office or position. The president was deposed and forced into exile after evidence of his corruption came to light. Knell. A sound or signal of failure, death or mourning, as of a bell rung at a funeral. The girl's knee injury was the death knell of her career as a ballerina. Overwrought. Excessively excited or emotional, agitated. After the car accident, the woman was so overwrought she couldn't talk. Assuage. To ease or lessen. My hunger was assuaged by the pizzas I ate when I got home from practice.